told you what to chase told you how to run the hey everybody and welcome back to my channel so in today's video i'm gonna be showing you how to shrink wrap these pink bags okay i was even looking i was i was searching like pink bag gift bags i was looking and searching for somebody that may have had the pink bags and already a step ahead of me and done theirs already but honey child i couldn't find nobody so i said well let me just go ahead and get my subscribers um you know Get it for y'all. Let y'all see what's going on. In case it's somebody wondering, like I was, how I was going to shrink wrap these bags. So, I will put the link in the description for the size bags that I have. I did use, um, I ordered from Amazon. It is the large shrink wrap bag, 20 pack, 30 by 30. They weren't no more than about 15, 11 99 something like that. And to stuff the box, I used, and I said this in my previous video. If y'all haven't seen the previous video, if I showed off what I had or whatever, go ahead and check that video out, y'all. But I used the shoe box that I got from USPS. But if you can just find a box, it's seven and a half by five, one eighth, and fourteen three eighths. Yeah, them three eighths and five eighths and all that stuff, honey. That be throwing me out. Just tell me how many inches. I don't know if anybody else like me, but I ain't uh, no math whiz now. I can count a lot of money, but I ain't no math whiz. That one eighth and one fourth be throwing me out. But let me stop telling my person to be. Y'all gonna think I'm dumb, honey. But it does throw me off. That one eighth, one fourth. And I'm just talking while I'm wrapping this box because it's finna go in the bag. Also show you how I brought my bag, how I did my box when I get in there. Now, if you don't have that, of course you can find some stuff to take up some space in the bottom. Or you can just sit there and use a whole bunch of new paper, a whole bunch of package paper, whatever you have to get the bag, the bag stuff in full. Okay, so I told you the size of the bag. Let me show you what I have in on top of the bag. Now, those of you that's, I know y'all like, girl, about time. Those of you that always come to me, use loose dots, loose goose dots. Y'all, I have so many of these in a the bag because I do balloons. So I had ordered like a hundred. I got like a box of a hundred of these. And this is my first time pulling it out. I want to say, she know who she is. I want to say thank you to her because I told her, I said, um, she was in the comments and she was like, you need loose glue dots. I said, girl, I'm finna go put them glue dots on my table right now because of you. And um, I need to... If I had my phone, if I was on my camera, y'all, my camera come next week, thank God. So if I had, I was able to, I would have went back in the comments and told y'all to, just to give her a shout out and tell her thank you. And I may even just put it up at the front of the thing. Because I want to say thank you, girl, because everybody keeps telling me that. But it was her comment that made me just be like, let me go get these dang glue dots. Put them on the table so when I need them, they dare. And guess what? These glue dots is good. I got one piece, one glue dot on this, and it ain't moving. Trust and believe when I sat it on here, it kept sliding, kept moving. I put one little glue dot on the bottom of here, and it stuck to this particular bag. Now, um, be mindful when you're shrink wrapping because they are nylon. You know, nylon don't really take heat too bad. But these babies been working with that heat. I'm not going to lie. They shrink wrap very well. Um, This silver sequin on the bottom that I got this bag from Timu. If you haven't already downloaded that Timu app, go ahead and download that Timu app. I have it in the description or if you're on the android and you're having problems with the link just um download timu and in the search bar where you like searching and looking for some just type in my fave code i put my fave code in the description as well i also pinned it in the comments too y'all but yeah go ahead and download the app if you haven't already these bags was between 974 and 1188 i did get one that was like 1398 i want to say it probably was this dang on purple when i got y'all but i normally don't go that high just keep scrolling you'll find one cheaper because they got them from different people on there, i believe um anyway so yeah get the bag from timu use the link in the description order the bags that i have they're 30 by 30 from amazon and and you know i like using other people's links because that way i know exactly what i'm getting but all i did is put the um cute little bag i got from dollar tree one of my little doll soaps that was 79 cents i printed these out y'all i went on google typed in happy mother's day i searched happy mother's day stickers and this what came up, this came up, had an outline already to it. Because guess what? I don't have to use my Cricut. I could just cut it out with the scissors. Now, if I use my Cricut, I have to make them a little bit smaller because they do have to fit like a six and a half by eight, you know, 11, something like that. But I just wanted the full width of my stickers for y'all camera users out there. So I'm going to cut it myself. I'm pretty good with the scissors. I can swoop around that thing and cut that thing out in like two seconds, y'all. But anyway, there go that sticker. I didn't take the sticker off because I don't want you to leave. I don't know if heat going to leave residue or anything on these bags. So I just left the sticker like it was. I put a little tape here. 
and it's actually just connected to that the glue dot was already in i pushed it in so it can stick in the glue dot um i have a set of pink not sure how much i paid but y'all know they had them for like 5.95 so we're gonna stick to about 12 dollars uh i got the purple brush the flower that i got from father father is here locally in atlanta georgia they don't have a website where you can kind of order and have it shipped in but i don't know they do but i don't think they have a lot of stuff on there they really don't have nothing on there honey but i love them they're good stuff for a lot of different supplies that i need for parties i have my timu house shoes not gonna say if y'all seen that timu haul if y'all haven't y'all it's three parts right that'll tell you the price they was between 219 some of them was 179 but these probably was about 228 no higher than 318 okay um i took that cup that we got from dollar tree I love that it takes up space, and I took one of the um, body sponges and stuck it down in there a little bit. Um, I felt like at first, I was like, this might be a little bit childish for adult. But then once I put it together, I said, honey, she gonna wear that. She gonna wash her body with that. That is too cute to me. Then I have one of these, um, oh, I'm gonna have to turn it this way. I'm gonna have to take this off with the, um, I'm gonna have to use my glue gun, y'all. Hold on because i had it on here i was telling i got this from dollar tree but i had it on here this way with the purple but then when i looked at it that go all the glitter what i want to see right there so because it's plastic y'all anytime y'all have a stick on some be mindful if it's plastic or something like that but as you can see i'm just moving fairly fast on it letting it get heated up and in the second i'll be able to pull this baby right on up out of there you don't want to overheat it because guess what you don't want your um plastic to burn but hey soon as you do that it pull that sticker right on up off there y'all see that don't play with me but hey um latasha somebody had taught me that um ask marie latasha y'all be giving out some good ideas honey but it did leave a little residue on the top of my front of my stuff uh but it's okay i'd rather see that that glitter than what i was seeing anyway and anyway so it don't move i need to put a piece of clear tape across it anyway honey that's how we're going to do that. That'll give them a little residue, a little bit of shine. You get going to be on there, you might as well look good on there, honey. But anyway, one second, y'all. Don't do that. Don't do that. Okay? Yeah, like I said, you're going to be on there messing up. You might as well be shining good with it. And now it's stuck to that, so when I do shrink wrap it, it won't be falling all over the place. Um... I already showed y'all how to take this down to put in here. Let me move this fire burn my dang on. Shoot, I'm gonna just got burnt. Um, that's it, y'all. Uh, that and then that beautiful bag. Let me show you the bag. They have these at Dollar Tree, different kind of stuff on them. Faith, love, and beautiful. I felt like they was cute to go take up some space. They definitely taking up space, y'all. And I do have to go get some more. I do got to go get some more. Because at first when I got on my um, subscriber, Miss Brenda, I'm in there. And she was like, uh, yeah, these are cute. I said, yeah, let me grab some. I think I only grabbed five. But I'm loving the way it's taking up space in the back of my um, bag. As you can see, I stuffed it with something. But that's all I have in here. So far, I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I'm going to call this eight. I'm going to call that a Dollar Tree thing. Because it was a dozen roses for about $8. But I'm going to just round it off to $1.25. That takes up about $0.50 cent worth of tax or whatever I didn't use that I didn't add on to this. Plus this. That probably was some cents on the dollar, y'all, because I got that um that shoot, that um, clothes box back to hold all my stuff up with. So if we're at 8 That's just say $10 with Dollar Tree and just say 12 with the bag. That's $22. We can always round it out to be an even $25. That way, if I sell this bag for $100, y'all, I'm making a $75 profit. What y'all think? I feel like I can get $100 for it, even though I feel like it's not much. But we have our two sets. Those are $16.95. That's $40. Everybody don't get it on the deal. Right now, if I wanted it, I, I would have had to pay. Um, I think you got to get two and get one free. Either way it goes, that's $40. We're doing retail. We're not doing what we paid for it. Everybody can't get our deal, okay? And then this bag, if we wanted it from pink, I have to double check. But I know it's over $50. If not 35, 40, whatever it is, just those two together, just this and this at pink will run us about $80, okay? So, of course, I want to get $100 for it. Let me know what y'all think. Only thing other than the spray, the wash, the bag, and the house shoes they're getting is, you know, just little stuff here and there. I feel like I could throw some more stuff in there, but I feel like it, it looks good and full enough like it is. I wish I had, like, um 
some chocolates or some candy I can kind of glue down to it. Do I? Uh oh. That Geneva would have looked good on it if I had one of them purple ones. But we ain't got time for that, honey. That's going to mess up what we already got going on. But hey, I need to put some tape on here because that ain't supposed to jump up off of there like that. Um, but I'm finna get to shrink wrap in this bag, y'all. That don't talk enough. So, y'all know I was at 22. I rounded it off from 22 to, um, 25. And we gonna sell this baby for $100. But we know that we can sell it for less. Okay? Even if I sold it for $80, that's still, um, what was I already? $75 profit? That's a $60 profit. So, if we sell it, if we're doing 25 if I sold it for 75 that's a $50 profit. That's not bad. But I don't know. The stress of waiting on your packages, ordering the packages and all of that stuff, I don't want to do. I don't. I want more than $50. But just saying, $50 would get us a good profit, y'all. I'm going for $100 on all of my bags. Some might have more than the next. And if in that case, that's when I go and say, okay, I want $125. But for now, I'm going for $100. Um, I take my bag. Excuse the noise, y'all. Thank you, boo. Put this right in the freezer for me. Put that in the freezer. My son, I brought me some more chips. When I start doing these videos, I be wanting some snacks. And here come the noise. I'm taking my bag, y'all. It's sideways. Let me move this bag so y'all can see what I got going on. So my bag is sideways. I'm going to just take it because I'm doing this by myself. A lot of y'all probably don't have any help as well. Even though all these children walk around here. I'm going to do this by myself. Um, I'm just going to take my bag. Take my fingers. Lift my bag up a little. And slide it as far down there I can get it. While still trying to keep it straight, y'all. Then, come across the top. And just slide it on in. I'm, a, I'm mainly trying to get my bottom in first. I worry about my top later. But now that I got a grip to it, I can just take and slide this baby right on in. And y'all, that's well, you get your husbands, your daughter, your sister. Get somebody to help y'all, honey. But I'm just so used to working by myself. My son just walked past y'all. I could ask him to hold it for me. But I don't know. I already did it. I want it to go. Let me pull the slack. Because I want it. I want this in the center. I don't want this all the way up here. I want it towards the back. Okay. Boom. That's it. That's it for that. Let me turn it around and show y'all what I'm going to do over here. So what I'm going to do over here is take this down. I'm going to take that. This is the tape I end up getting, y'all. I end up getting the duct tape. The green duct tape with the duct tape holder. I thought this was the one Elaine had, but I don't think her said duct. But it's working pretty good, y'all. Um, I think this by itself was $17. It came with one. And then a six-pack refill was about $72. I think I spent about $35 on tape. Six, eight rolls, seven rolls in all, and a gun. But this gun been amazing. I've been rolling taping them boxes up, y'all. And I'm finna be rolling taping up anything I got. I've been rolling. Not even going to lie to you. Now, anytime I take my bag, so I always get my center first. I get my back next. And then I come over the cross this way from the front. I always do it that way because I don't really want my tape hanging out the front part of my bag. So I go from the bottom to the side to the uh, other top. I mean the front. But it don't matter. However you do it, just do it. It ain't no rocket side trying to take that thing however you want to tape it, but we want to make sure we close it off. Um, I'm going to tape, pull as much as I can pull back. And then I'm going to fold it down and tape it again. And mind you, I ain't all that good with these um, shrink wrap bags, honey. So however you feel that you got to do to get it taped down, do what you got to do. This, my, not saying my way is the best way, honey. My way is just me trying to get it done. That's all. And I'm going to take and pull this back over here. And boom, that's it. I'm closed off. 
Over here, I'm not really worried about. Can y'all see? Yeah, y'all can see. Put it up a little bit more. Over here, it can stick up if it want to, because guess what? When I start the street wrapping this baby, it's going to go down anyway. Got my gun up on high. This is actually the gun that I'll be giving away in the giveaway. I was trying my best um, on the day that I get up, I read as much comments as I can before I get started. But I'm still in the process of putting everybody's names into that giveaway. Long as you don't come in up under my video and told me your name. Hopefully you was more detailed and told me everywhere you follow me on and the name of the stuff that uh the name that you is on them other platforms that's a lot easier for me if you have but this is the gun i'm giving away with some treat bags y'all and you see how fast i move my gun but i kind of start with my back sometimes i start with my front and i just be moving around fast as i can because i got it up on high when i see it start trying to eat fun and burn my stuff i turn my gun down but I'm just moving it as I can because I don't have it on. Normally, I have it on my turntable. But being that this is so big, I don't have it on my turntable. And normally, when I do my baskets, y'all, I be on I already cut a little hole in my bag at the top. That ain't help. But it'll, it'll be all right. It'll go out. But I normally cut a just a little tad slit so it can help release my air. But it's all good. It's going to be all right. Look at that. That's cute, but that ain't what I'm going for. Hold that thing right on down on the side. Okay? But that's it, y'all. Y'all get that same size bag. Click the link in the description. It's an affiliate link. It's going to be the same exact price as what I paid. But they're going to give me some cents um, on the dollar for you all using me to go through and buy that. And look at that. Y'all see that dove ain't moving from that glue dot? Still got to be careful, though. I should have tried to secure it a little bit more, but everything else is locked in. But that's a little shaky. That dove is a little shaky, and I'm still just going around my bag. Y'all see how fast I'm moving my hand? Because it will burn on you. And trust and believe, honey, I burn them real quick. And guess what I do? Put a piece of tape over whatever little part I burn. So don't think, oh, I'm not good with shrink bags. I keep burning them. Honey, I be burning them sometimes, too. We ain't perfect. But we going to make it look perfect. I put that piece of tape on there. You won't even be on new. I had don't burn that bad. But yeah, just try to move fast as you can. You will probably get a burn hand out. And like I said, take a clear piece of tape um, and put it right over it. Now, not now. It got to be some tape like this. It got to be some packaging tape. Because honestly, when I be burning that stuff and I use this packaging tape, I don't even really be able to see it. I always get your bottom. Because guess what? This is going to suck in some more. This definitely going to suck in some more. Let me show you. Y'all seen that suck in? I hope y'all did. Y'all know I'm on my phone. I get my camera back next week, hopefully. Because it's good, but it, it ain't all that. But yeah, it does hold the bottom. Get your bottom much as you can without burning. I'm going to spin around and do the back of my bottom. Now, had I been on my turntable, I would have been more better. And this bag, just plain and simple, y'all, not too much on the back nothing on the back really and i really kind of hit it a little bit more to get some of that extra paper suck in okay but it's a little rough on the back most of my bags i make sure i get the back clear and pretty because i be having backers in the back of it and it shows whatever it is in the back and i try to make sure it stays cute but this bag not gonna be showed from the back it is what it is honey and there we go. There I go, our completed shrink wrap basket. I wrapped it in less than two minutes, however many minutes. It did fold up pretty good down there when I hit that bottom. But um, overall, I think it's cute. I wish I would have made sure that, that when I hit that bottom just then, y'all, it bent up a little bit. You see, I should have been pulling, paying attention and going down with. But other than that, y'all, this is the completed shrink wrap bag. Um, do I got a purple bow? Let me get a bow, y'all. And what we doing with the bows, let me just grab this whole thing, because we um don't have a part that we got to, like, tighten up at the top and put it on, because of that, we're going to tape it down in the back. Now, I do have one that's pretty big. I don't think I need That's too big. It's going to be a big old ribbon. I'm going to use that for a box. 
that'll work. That that'll give it. Yeah, instead of me using that big purple ribbon, this is what I'm gonna do. Um, and I did this on the last one. One more other string. Oh, both of these are already here. So what I did, I just took. Lord. This is a two-part ribbon. Hold on, y'all. Let me separate this because this should be two strings. It's just one string. You know they're supposed to have two strings on it. And I don't see number one, y'all. So in that case, I ain't got time to figure out why, who, and don't. I'm just going to take, make a knot. Because I was going to make a knot anyway. I was just going to tie it in a knot. But in this case, I'm just going to make a knot. So it won't move. I would say about right there is cool. About right there. Is that why I wanted it? Yeah, right there is good and fine. I'm going to take me a piece of tape. And now, it was another step if I had two ribbons. I would have tied this again about right up in here. That way, the, the piece that I had to tie would have been taped down and the other piece I had would have been hanging around. But because I don't know what happened to the other piece, we just going to tie it down with no shrinking parts. But hopefully you understand what I was just saying and you can use the other part for your stringies to hang down. That's it. Just tape it to the back of them. And I made sure it was close to the part that I tied as a knot so it won't be lingering down. But that's it, y'all. Um, I wish I had a better purple bit, um, bow, but that's the only uh, bow I got. I don't have no more purple but them two big ones. And I, that mean I got to go get some more. Now, what I could still do if I wanted to, my um, screen is hanging down. Let me show you. Screen hanging down. I could take my screen up in the air, make it come around here to the front, okay, and then tape it again. That'll make it whole, and that way I can get me some little dazzling screen, but I'm going to be able to get one little piece, and that's it. Where my scissors go? I need a blanket what I right here with me like I did for uh, Easter. Get me a bucket and let it hang right here, y'all. Because um, I be you losing my scissors and my, my, my tape. They just be running away from me. What there? Look at that one screen. That's it. All right, that's it. I showed y'all how to street wrap the bag. I showed y'all what box to put in the bag. And let me just show you how I put it in the bag. For those of you that already got this part down packed, Honey, I will see y'all in the next video. But for those of you that's new, your first year making basket, why not take that extra step and show y'all how I feel this bag. Now, which one I want to go with next? Hmm. I want to go with this one next. I'm going to do this color next. Or do I want to do the teal next? I don't know, y'all. I got so many different bags to choose from. I don't know which one I'm going to pick to do next. I really want to just go ahead and stuff all of them. Put them up here and do all of them at the same time. That's what I really want to do. But, I mean, three at a time is good enough. I did that because I had I had to make sure I had enough room. Oh, and I got to show y'all this one that I did. I think I already showed y'all that. I think I started this video off. I don't know how I'm going to start this video off. Sometimes I do it in little clips, pieces here, pieces there. Um, I love this thing, y'all. This thing went in for like $25. For those of you out there that's trying to do a YouTube channel, I'm going to put this in the description as well. Get y'all one of those. So as you can see, I got my little pink, my bag, my box already in here standing up straight. I got a bag of paper already over here rolled up. I push my box all the way to the side. Stick me a piece in there. Be mindful of that zipper. Y'all don't want to take y'all zipper up. Put a piece on that side. Push it back this way, tight as I can get it. And then, I gotta come around from the back because I don't wanna, and then I put it on the side. Now my sides are full, okay? See that? 
Now, if I feel like it's too much of room back there, which it is, about two of those will knock that right on out. And I, I got these balled up. What you do have to do so you don't have a big old budge in one part of it, in a basket is fine. Sorry about this noise, y'all. But when I'm doing my bag, I take it and I kind of fold it the long way like this, okay? Sorry about that. My daddy vacuuming in there. And I'm almost through with the video. But hey, take that. So it won't just be a big old rolled up part. I'm just going to unroll it and fold it in half. I know y'all like, between the dang old paper and the vacuum cleaner, I don't know who making the most noise. But boom, that's it for that. And then I'm taking one of these, which I showed these on my last video. I got these from Walmart after Christmas sale, but you can order you some, try to get you some cheap at Amazon. Uh, no. Use whatever you have, y'all, because normally I have these backers. Where, are, where, where is it? I just moved it. Normally I have something like this to put in the back of my stuff. But because this is the only one I have left, I'm saving it for some something special. Um, that's the only one I got left. That will be mindful, y'all new basket makers. When y'all see stuff Valentine's Day, grab that stuff if you feel like it's something you're going to need. Because you got to look at it. Mother's Day, they don't pretty much bring out nothing. This the second year in a row that they hadn't put out nothing for Mother's Day for me. So this is my second year doing it that I have learned. I need to start getting my stuff in advance. Now, as you can see, I left my paper in the back and I put my box here. And it's snug. That way... It ain't leaning. That paper is actually giving me extra pressure. Apply pressure to these boxes. You hear what I'm saying? Apply pressure to these pink bags. That we doing. We're applying pressure. So, it's giving me that pressure where it ain't going to really be leaning back like that. If I put it before the paper, when I put my heavy um body wash, whatever I put on here, it's going to lean a little bit. But, um, I'm going to go ahead and put the clip in on how I did my house shoes. So y'all will see instead of doing it again. But what I am taking y'all, my house shoe. And look at me finna show y'all. I'm doing purple house shoe. Okay. Oh, this is a small house shoe. Come on now. It's gonna be for a little later right here. On. But a teenager. This will be for um you know them little younger kids. Yeah, I hope I ain't get you bent down and y'all seen my bunny on. I don't, I don't pin the wig, wig up and put my bunny on, y'all. I'm finna get ready to lay down. But um, what I did was took tissue paper, and honestly, I did. I've been putting any kind of papers in here. You ain't even been able to see it. Okay, so we put our little tissue paper in there. If you can see, you can see the difference. You can definitely tell the difference. Um, thanks, Driven, for that tip. Get another one. Okay, once I stuffed it, wait, I, I already know this purple, I'm going to use purple. So I'm going to go ahead, either sit it like this. I sit it like this because um, last time I put it in the inside, I couldn't see what it said. And I want them to be able to see. Be kind to your mind and relax. So normally they was like stuck together, but this pair is not. So um, just go ahead and do it with y'all. Even though I'm finna add that clip in there showing me with the other purple one. Um, figure out what I'm gonna put in my inside, which I'm gonna do a brush. I tried it with a mirror, y'all. The mirror didn't really work for me. Oh, I forgot. I could have put a purple bunny in there with that, y'all. Where is what I'm looking for? I'm looking for some brushes. And I got a box of brushes right here. Well, it's a purple one. I had a couple different purple ones to choose from. I'm going to get this purple one. I turned it downside last time. 
but it's giving turn it up this time let me see nope i'm gonna still turn it down side because i like that my tape can go this way make sure everything turned the same and that's it i want to put a purple bonnet in this thing took me some tape came around the front and then did apply it to my house shoe so y'all as i'm doing my house shoes i did think it was smarter for me instead of just throwing them up there trying to fit my stuff in this is very smart y'all for those of you that's using house shoes if you're gonna put some in it go ahead and go ahead and glue it and tape it down before you even start maneuvering it around i had put a strip of tape here and the strip of tape there and then now all i have to do is just sit it on top i'm gonna try to do this with one hand because i don't got it standing up in my thing um but then all you got to do after that is just stick it up there, y'all. Or wherever you're going to put it at. So I just wanted to show y'all that tip. And I know I already posted my last video. But hey, this is what I end up doing, y'all. Only thing I end up adding was I added those three-pack bar bombs and some bath salt. But I did want to show, you know, this is reality. I mean, real. Like, it's nothing that I be done with, stumbled upon and then put together and show y'all the thing I already finished. We all stumble sometimes. That's basket makers. Sometimes it could be we got to make up our uh, mind up on what we're going to put here, what we're going to use. We move stuff around and all of that stuff. So I just show you the real of it, okay? I don't kind of always have minds together as well, you know. But this is how it looks put together, y'all. I even took, I had to take a piece of tape from here to the back of the board that I got in the back of here. So I took that piece of tape from the back of there and because it left so much tape looking messy, I put the rolls and now you can't even see the tape right there, honey. I stuck that rolls up there and let that be it. But this is it, y'all. This is that completed basket. It was empty right up in here. I just put Happy Mother's Day. But yeah, it didn't, it wasn't that bad, y'all. You you gotta do what you gotta do. Move it around, get it to your liking. Um, I'm still working on this one, but I feel like once I add that bunny, that's it. She got her body wash with her um sponge she got her mirror her brush with her hair net she got her house shoes to go along with everything all she really needs is a house gown honey and she'll be good to go but she ain't getting no house gown honey i ain't got now that'll match that so that's probably just gonna be it for that y'all i want to put a couple other things in there because i do want to sell it for 100 i could get away for selling it for 75 dollars though but it depends i gotta add up the stuff because right now i think i'm looking at about 20 dollars that i put in it $75 wouldn't be bad, but I do want to maximize it and at least get $100 for each of my pink bags. Um, but just wanted to come in and show y'all that tip. Um, working on everything, and I got some videos coming out. Success is a finicky thing, and if you ain't sure, no, it'll never be. I don't want to let myself down my